Hello, I'm Dr. Zafar Haydar. We're here at Fitness 1440. We're gonna hold a series of lectures discussing anti-aging. That's also called age management medicine. And what, what does it mean? And how to prevent disease and lessen the likelihood of having chronic diseases. We're gonna discuss in several series lifestyle, which includes diet, exercise, good sleep, and what kind of products you, one, one uses. And uh, then go into uh, hormonal treatments and uh, for those people who need it. And you can go into higher levels of peptides uh, that that improve your growth hormone and can do anti-aging. So what is anti-aging? Anti-aging or age management medicine is different from traditional medicine. Traditional medicine normally, for the most part, you go to the doctor when you get sick, you're not feeling well, you go to see what's wrong. Age management medicine, you start before you get sick to prevent disease. Because in age management medicine, you, don't promise, you cannot promise one will live longer. We don't have that studies. But for the most part, you, the last 10 years of the person spends it suffering with chronic disease, and that could be prevented or lessened in severity if you get treated. So when we talk about diet, it's very important to eat healthy. For years, doctors were confused about, you know, you have carb, low carb diet or low fat diet, which one is it? There is recently, as of last year, a good study, a, a, a large study showed that it doesn't matter if you eat low fat or low carb, as long as it's healthy healthy low fat and healthy low carb, you get the benefit uh, of being healthy. In my dictionary, I tell my patients to eat healthy, they ask me what, what's healthy. Basically, you wanna avoid causes that cause inflammation, gluten, carbohydrate, not complex carbohydrate, but, but regular carbohydrate, you know, bread products, uh, pasta, potato, rice, etc because that will cause insulin to go up and that will, will affect the weight gain and cause inflammation in the body. And mostly stick to fruits and vegetables. As much as you can vegetarian, it's, it's better for you. <laughs> when buy fruits and vegetables also, you have to be careful on the, uh, on the pesticides they use. So try to go organic and uh, and if you look it up on google you know there's something called dirty dozen those those are definitely you want to go organic and there is clean 15 those you don't have to go organic for example watermelon uh, melon melon those things are covered you don't need to buy organic because you know the, it doesn't matter uh, you're not eating the peel so that's important. So that's as far as diet. Also the timing of the meal is very important. You wanna eat within 12 hour period. So if you start your day by eating breakfast at eight, you need to be done by 8 p.m. And recently, intermittent fasting has been touted as, as very good for you, for everybody, for weight loss and for longevity. As far as uh, other lifestyle, if you, if you look, the average working woman leaves her house after putting products, 140 chemicals on the body. 140 chemicals. So that includes shampoo, conditioner, makeup, uh, all kinds of products. Even, even the, the body lotion, 
is very important. For example, <clears throat> I use uh, body lotion made from essential oil, uh, shower gel made from essential oil. So those are not harmful to the body. So everything you ingest or apply to your body is toxic. And later we're gonna talk about how to do detoxify your body.